qualitative research, and quantitative research. Their definition, purposes, characteristics, differences, sampling, research design, collected data, analysis, conclusion. Research is a systematic inquiry using discipline methods to answer questions or solve problems. It is the systematic investigation and study of materials and sources in order to establish facts and reach new conclusions. Quality is the degree of excellence of something which can be of any product, service, experience, event, or behavior. Quantity is the measure of amount or number of any material, characteristic, or phenomenon. Qualitative research is concerned with qualitative insights, experiences, or phenomenon. For instance, when we are interested in investigating the reasons for human behavior or strategic decisions. Qualitative research is a scientific method of observation to gather non-numerical data involving quality or kind. For instance, why do people think or do certain things? Qualitative research is specially important in the behavioral sciences where the aim is to discover the underlying motives of human behavior. Through such research, we can understand and explore the various factors which motivate people to behave in a particular manner or which make people like or dislike of a particular thing. Qualitative research is a type of research aimed at discovering the underlying motives and desires of people or groups through in-depth interviews and by using open-ended questions in order to yielding more information and actionable insight. This research may be used to find out subjectively how people feel or what they think about a particular subject or institution. It tends to use an exploratory method that generates a hypothesis and develop understanding about people, classes, or groups. All data gathered are in the form of text and images. Afterwards, these data can then be summarized, categorized, and interpreted to be able to form some generalization or conclusion. Qualitative analyzes typically require a smaller sample size in order to support the depth of analysis that is fundamental to this mode of study. A minimum sample size of at least 12 has been suggested to at least reach data saturation. Finally, this type of research refers to the meanings, concepts, definitions, characteristics, symbols, and description of things, but not to their counts or measures. Quantitative research examines phenomena characteristics, or insights, through quantifiable evidence, and often relies on statistical analysis of many causes, to test or prove some general claims. Quantitative research is a scientific method of observation, that gathers numerical data, conveyed from what can be seen in the research to arrive at specific and observable results. Quantitative research is based on the measure of quantity or amount. It is applicable to observe phenomena, perceptions, experiences, or characteristics that is based on quantity.
The objective of quantitative research is to develop and employ mathematical models, prove existing or developed theories, test hypotheses pertaining to events, phenomena, or characteristics. The quantitative research has an advantage in its reliability since results are based on larger sample sizes that are more representative of the target population. The sample size is also computed using statistical formula, which are valid and proven reliable. Also, in quantitative methods, the researcher may observe objectively in order to prove or test their hypothesis. This confirmation is usually done through experimentation or correlation studies. All the data that are gathered can be measured and are in the form of numbers. Afterwards, the researchers then proceeds to mathematical or statistical analysis of data, which provides objective results. The numerical data gathered in quantitative research are usually collected through surveys which uses close-ended questions or multiple choice type questions through experiments or by correlational studies. Due to the research design used, quantitative research studies provide highly reliable results. Thus, it can usually be replicated or repeated by other researchers. The quantitative research project can be used to generalize concepts more widely, predict future results, or investigate similarities, differences, or causal relationship. Here's a practical example for both types of research. Let's say, we want to find out how satisfied students are with their online classes. Both approaches can actually answer this research question. If you want to take the quantitative approach, you can survey 200 students at the school and ask them questions like, in a scale of 1 to 5, how satisfied are you with your teachers? Then you can organize the data and afterwards perform a statistical analysis. You may simply compute using percentages or means. Then present your results using pie charts or bar graphs. Finally, draw up the conclusion. That may sound something like. On the average, students rate their teachers 4.5 out of 5. But, if you want to go for a qualitative approach, then you can conduct interviews with around 30 students and ask them open-ended questions like, how satisfied are you with online classes? Or, what do you think can be done to improve learning? Then, you can transcribe the data and find identifiable patterns or look for recurring themes. This process allows you to summarize, organize, and interpret your data. Your conclusion would be based on the patterns or themes that emerge from data. For example, it turns out that most of the students would like more online discussion and explanations. <laughs>